Hello people, and welcome back to episode 8 of our City Skylines build guide. And today, I wanted to work on a couple of subscriber ideas that we've had down in the comments. And for those that don't know, we are now, at, at the time of this recording, I think at 114 subscribers, which is mind-blowing. It was only a couple of weeks ago, we were at 100, so welcome to all the new people. Please don't be strangers, let me know who you are down in the comments. Um, it's nice to talk to you guys, thank you for subscribing. Um... We let you guys get, well, not we, I, <laughs> it's only me on this channel. Uh, I let you guys get involved with the cities. You can suggest ideas and we'll go ahead and build them. Um, and you can also name different districts after yourself or maybe an inside joke with your friends, uh, including farms and even buildings if you want to. What the hell? Why not? Uh, go ahead and let me know who you are in the comments and uh, get involved with the series. And that's what we're going to be working on today. Uh, a long time subscriber of the channel, uh, Bill and Ted, who has been around commenting on my videos for a long time now. So thank you very much for hanging around, but it really does mean a lot. Uh, has suggested that the hillsides here alongside our little beach would make a nice little kind of nature reserve. Now, it's not going to be kind of a nature reserve in the sense of a national park. It's not going to be that big. Uh, but it's certainly going to be uh, a nice little feature and to use these somewhat empty spaces at the moment that we have on each side. So discussing nature reserves, they're going to function pretty similar to our city parks that we have down here, which is obviously Swatch Park. Um, and we're going to place them up here. Now this map naturally generates with a couple of really nice little features. It's like a kind of ruined uh, castle keep up here and some like stone circle looking stuff. And I think there's some stuff over here as well. Yeah, there's like a real stone circle here. Um, so we can definitely make a feature out of those. Now they won't directly affect the city, they're not going to improve land value or anything like that. Uh, but they will look pretty cool when we get them uh, into a nature reserve. So to make a nature reserve we need to go ahead and grab our uh, area painting tool. And we're going to paint in a park area. So the nature reserves are still classed as parks. So therefore we need to have a park area. I want to cut that back to about there. Uh, and then we'll probably make this, um, I don't know, maybe we should have this as a separate one or the same one. I'm not really sure. We'll do the first one first of all and see what happens. So right now, it knows that this is a park area and it's named it Woodland Grounds. So let's go ahead and actually draw in uh, a road here. Now I'm not sure where I want to connect this. Maybe we can, can we grab this district here? This uh, little road? No we can't. Uh, okay, so it's going to be really low key. I think I'm just going to have... Uh, a dirt road. I'm going to take my snapping off here. So a dirt road coming off of this little road. And this is going to meander around here. Now we should be able to place in a nature reserve here. So we come into our cities and park pauses. Nature reserve and here we go. So we have the main gate and the small nature reserve main gate. And this is the one that I definitely want to use. So we're going to place that in and that is going to give us a new kind of information screen. So Pine Park has reached level 1 because it's just been created. And that's going to lock a couple of tents and some campfires. Now these campfires are going to help the park level up. Uh, similar to the way that these assets here, the big purple ones like the restrooms and the cafe, uh, help our city parks to level up. So I'm going to go ahead now and draw in a bit of a path uh, leading from the gate through the forest. Let's kind of have it snaking around here make it look pretty interesting and then let's bring it alongside these buildings here and then up to there seems a nice little spot so it's just the one path going all the way through and then let's have a look what we have so we have a campfire site now, I don't think I want the campfire right up by the castle maybe we can have this actually uh, overlooking the city a little bit let's do a touch of terraforming let's go ahead and grab our cliffs I'm just gonna try and um, make a bit of a cliff face along here and then go back into our parks I'm gonna to switch to the the kind of normal path this isn't as uh, as decorative as the other one but um, we can certainly still make use out of it so I think right here let's go ahead and grab a small campfire site or a campfire site 2 Oh, okay, that's, sorry, that's my mistake. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on there? Um, so it didn't quite touch in. Uh, let's go ahead and delete this uh, Woodlands Park one because that shouldn't exist. Pine Park is the one that should exist. There we go. Let's uh, go ahead and draw that in. 
And now we can place our stuff. <laughs> uh, so the thing that happened there was when I placed the gate, it wasn't properly in the zoning area. So it doesn't actually count um, as a nature reserve. So that's why that happened. Let's go ahead and grab a nice little campfire that's going to overlook the bay here. And let's uh, clear out some of the trees around the edge uh, to make a bit of a feature. So scrolling through here... Have a couple of tents maybe these can uh reside around the campfire so there's a couple of different models of tent here and um, they do supply some entertainment as well and so each side and then maybe right opposite here as well and then let's go ahead and grab uh, a little log bench here if i can bring the brush size down there we go uh, let's have one Right by here, that's going to overlook the bay. Another one right there, maybe. And maybe we can have a little sign as people come into uh, this nature reserve. This little campsite. Uh, and then maybe it can be a little bit of a, a picnic area over here as well. We'll give them a bit of um, a bit of a floor tile. They can have a log store that's going to be right next to the campfire. It obviously makes sense for them to have that right there. Uh, and a bit of a folding chair. Uh, where can we have this? I guess these would make sense around the actual campfire itself. Let's have one there. There and there. Now you will get people coming up to use these. Uh, people will come and sit around the campfire and stay in the tents. Uh, which is really cool. So hopefully now yeah, we do have our, our first visitors coming in. Here they come now. Let's, uh, let's take a look and see what he does. This guy's a tourist. He's an uneducated child who has come to sleep by himself. Um, perhaps not the safest, but he's, uh, this guy's just going to take a little seat right there. That's quite cute. Okay. Now, we do also have, in the Nature Reserve props, uh, a couple of kayaks. We do also have an outhouse as well. Let's plate this. Uh, so they can come and take a crap right over here by the mountains. Uh, and that can just be kind of by itself. Uh, and maybe a well as well, so they can uh, grab some fresh water. And uh, we'll have, actually have the uh, binoculars uh, up at this path here. We'll, we'll decorate up here in a moment. Um, but we do have a couple of little kayaks. Now, I think these might be cool if we actually had uh, maybe another little path. Let's go ahead and grab that dirt path again here. And we have a nice smooth slope coming out of here, so... Let's go ahead and draw this in. And this is going to come right down to the beach. And then I'm going to switch it to dirt here, I think. Actually, maybe a little bit sooner. Probably about there. And uh, let me make sure that this is on freeform. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, those kayaks again, if I can find them. There we go. So it looks as though somebody now has come down here and they've set up a little bit of a, a bit of a beach kayaking for their holiday. You know, the, this, the beach does have those kinds of facilities. So right now I want to go ahead and make sure that we've got plenty of trees in. So I think I'm going to mix and match the trees here. Uh, I'm going to have a couple of these redwoods dotted around. Uh, and then I'm going to switch back to... I do want this to be quite dense around around the paths. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of paint some in. Uh, let's go for a little bit bigger brush size. Let's kind of scatter them around where we can. And then the same again with some of the coloured trees, although they're a little bit lower brush size. I'm going to paint some of these little guys in. They are not as strong as kind of the main tree in the area. So right now I've got a really lush green path that's following through. And then right here you've got a nice little, uh, I do actually delete these trees. I want their view out over the bay to be uh, uninterrupted. And that's going to be a really sweet view. So already we've got people visiting these places. And already, right now, we have a pretty sweet looking campsite. So just by throwing a few of those props together, you can really help bring them to life. If you're just going to make a nature reserve and like throw the tents onto the main path, it doesn't really make sense. 
um, and doesn't really look that nice either. But you know, if you just draw a little branch off of what would be your main road, um, main path through the National Park or Nature Reserve, uh, and just make a little focused campsite like this with nice little details around it, um, in and amongst kind of the natural features of the map. Obviously these rocks here on the right side we've placed ourselves, uh, but even then, they still uh, fit in rather nicely. You see, it kind of comes down a nice little beach path down where they can maybe grab a kayak. They will never use the kayaks, they are just props. Uh, but, you know, it can just help bring your city to life that little bit. And kind of placing it within a nice area of your city. You know, these guys have a nice view over the bit over the bay. Uh, they can see the kind of active town beneath. And they're just enjoying their nice relaxing holiday. Okay, so I think that was pretty sweet. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, now, in terms of what else I want to do, maybe we could do something uh, down on the beach here, on the river. I don't know if I really want to overdo it with this park. Um, we have hit the entertainment value, so it will level up. We just need to wait for visitors to come. Uh, and now, of course, we have uh, quite a few trees up here, which I'm not overly happy about. Let's try and clear this out a little bit and see what we've got to play with. Let's delete that one too. So we've got some nice little props up here. Um, I think this is pretty nice. Now you do eventually in the National Park actually unlock um, a viewpoint which is one of these here. Yeah, so these unlock at level 2 so I think I'll definitely wait until this place hits level 2 and then we can get a viewing deck uh, right on this cliff face here. Uh, this would be a really cool place to put it I think. Uh, but for right now, we also have a little pair of binoculars which is very hard to see uh, right at the top there. But I think that's going to suit this area pretty nicely for right now. Uh, we'll wait for it to level up. We do have the entertainment value sorted, so we just need to wait for the visitors. Um, and then, yeah, that's a, that's a nice little project. It just adds a little bit of um, a little bit of character to what would otherwise be a quite copy and paste hillside. Uh, I think that's pretty sweet. How is this uh, entrance looking? Let's maybe clear a couple of trees out here. You've got some people walking as well. Let's actually build them um, a little bit of a, uh, a dirt path to the crossroads because people are walking on this road uh, probably one here as well actually let's uh, hook these guys up to the main town and let's grab um, a couple of different trees uh, in around here there we go just going to fill out that green area nicely super very nice okay so last episode we also started working on our uh, kind of new farm area here now, right now, we don't have any demand for industry, uh, so the jobs aren't really going to fill out, unfortunately. However, we can certainly work on uh, the rest of the town. Uh, so I think I'm just going to have um, the road come to an end with a little roundabout down here. Let's go ahead and drag this, so make sure our snapping is on. So there's a nice little way to make a roundabout. Um, obviously, we've talked about snapping points before. If you come out by five, so that's when that second line appears on the right there. So that'll be four. There is five. You just come out and then I think you bring it up by 280. And then you do the same again. And then from this point on, uh, your roads will just snap together. There. And we just got a nice little roundabout. And I think I'm going to uh, pop some houses down here as well. Uh, let's go for some nice big ones at the bottom of the uh, at the bottom of the village, and then let's go ahead and kind of see what we can do through here. Maybe maybe we can add a little bit of a back road uh, through here, and then we can get some housing in along here as well. So I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. Uh, we're coming up to well, this will be the what would this be? Uh, I've already said it. I don't know the eighth episode. <laughs> Is what I meant to say. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. It's certainly getting a lot of views and um, a lot of likes as well. So I'm taking that to mean that you guys are enjoying this series as well. I'm certainly enjoying making it. Uh, let's delete this stuff around here. Uh, there is another little castle keep down here as well. Uh, so maybe we could preserve that. Um, let's go ahead and build in the rest of the road. So I did also say at the end of the last episode um, that I wanted to convert this stuff here into a uh, renewable green commercial. So I'm definitely going to paint in uh, a district for this new town. I'll bring it right up to the beach. Over here. There we go. So this is just a regular district. 
uh, and then I'm going to go ahead into our commercial specialization and commercial this as organic and local produce. Now if you remember rightly that is going to see all these commercial buildings here be demolished and then any future buildings we build as commercial will come in as the organic stuff uh, which will look really sweet. So let's go ahead and grab, uh, I'm going to leave a space free there and this is going to have a little dirt path coming through it as well. So rather than just continuously zoning your areas, we can um, make some areas look pretty sweet with... Now that isn't connecting up, so I need to go, I want to go ahead into freeform here and turn our snapping off. There we go. And then let's just pop in a couple of bushes. Not with the brush size around the edge. Super. So that's going to see some nice buildings developing on the high street now. You know, it's going to look really nice when uh, all the buildings down here, these guys need power, I haven't forgot. Just make a temporary line there until it hooks up with the rest of the stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll see these buildings develop nicely along here now. And these are going to look really sweet. You know, you get all these kind of farmer's market looking things, kind of like outdoor hipster cafes. And uh, they're going to look really nice sat along our farms down here as this village continues to grow. It's going to look very nice indeed. So we do have right now uh, enormous demand for residential. So I think what I'm going to do here, I'm actually not entirely sure what I want to do uh, with this side just yet. Hmm. Just kind of heading off into the hills, isn't it? Now, it won't be expanding all the way over there. There is actually a really neat looking castle back there, if you can see that. I definitely want to do something with this lake. I want to kind of turn this lake into a tourist resort. So you've got another one of these really nice abandoned castles here as well. Uh, lots of cool little props on this map. How is the university doing? So it's had its first academic work. Uh, we're just waiting for the uh, student capacity to rise up. Yeah, students are slowly filtering in. That will be fine. Okay, so these guys right now, because we have built them far away from what is pretty much our main infrastructure, they have no means of school um, or policing or fire, etc. So we can kind of build them uh, their own little kind of community focused hub. So I think I'm going to drop in the community school uh, somewhere along this main road. Now where would be a good place for it? So the I'm actually going to pop this fertile on back and I think I'm going to draw it in about here. So I'm going to do something quite nice with the community, uh, with the uh, the new school. I'm going to pop my snapping back on and then draw this up by, let's go 300 and then I'm going to draw it out by another 10 and then I'm going to pop the community school bang in the middle. There you have it. So right now it's separate from the road, you can kind of tell that it's something different but I'm going to go ahead and do another further step of detailing and grab our city park stuff and then I'm going to go ahead and grab a park fence and turn off our snapping and use straight edges and what I'm going to do here is so how many we have one oh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so I'm going to come into this second one and draw a line like that and then this one again about there Go ahead and leave the same amount of space. I'm going to come out again. And then to about there and there. And just create a tiny little box just in front of the school here. And then I'm just going to repeat that pattern on this side. Just here. So now we have two boxes. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and grab uh, a couple of trees. Now I want these to be kind of different to anything else in the city. I think I'm going to have these fancy trees here, two, 
and three, one, two, and three. Let's kind of box in some trees. And I think actually this area is a little too hilly. So I'm going to downgrade this road. I'm uh, also going to keep this bit as the treed road. So we get some nice trees as the entrance. Uh, and then this bit can remain uh, just as the grassy side banking roads. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and draw in a path like that. And the large bushes are a little bit overkill. Let's have a little bit of a feature right there. So already that looks a lot more interesting rather than just placing the school on the side of the road. You've got these nice little kind of flower beds in here. So right now we have people complaining of not enough workers and this is because our residential demand is enormous. So let's go ahead and try and fulfill some of that. I think I'm quite happy to continue the residential zoning alongside the riverbank here. So let's go ahead and fulfill some of that. Uh, I want this to match up with the cycle path uh, as close as possible. And I'll bring that up to probably there. And then I'm just going to have this as some generic cul de sac stuff. It's nothing too exciting. Let's go ahead and make sure that these guys are hooked up with water. And then I want a nice big thick row of residential there and then we can just go ahead and fill all of these in uh, except for that one I don't want that weird house developing there so I'm just going to make sure that these guys that are going to be moving into this new area uh, have access to the cycle highway should they need it uh, let's go ahead and here there we go uh, and then again we'll draw in another connection to it at the bottom there. So that's going to bring a lot of new people into this area and then these guys are going to be able to fulfil the jobs that are required over here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this fence back now as well. Uh, no, we don't want to delete that, so I'm going to leave that in. Uh, and then let's go ahead and grab in some more roads. Kind of looking at where this area is. Let's go ahead and grab our industry tool. Okay, so I think I'm just going to shave it back a little bit here. Now we are going to lose out a little bit of fertile land where we built the houses, but you know we have so much of it here; it really is um, a little bit unnecessary. <laughs> so let's go ahead now and actually begin to plan out the curvature behind this high behind this new school. So I want these to kind of be, you know, big fields, like kind of the stuff you would find in, what's that American state called, where they have like all the cornfields, is it? Ah, oh, what's it called? It's like right on the tip of my tongue. It's not Wyoming. If anyone's American, there's one of the states, is it? Is it ne ne Nebraska? That's the one. I, th I think it's Nebraska. Any Americans watching, please confirm that for me. Um, I'm pretty sure Nebraska has like endless amounts of cornfields and just like a lot of different kind of like straight roads all the way through the crops so if that is your state do let me know okay i'm going to drop in a couple more crop fields here let's see if we can try and find a nice so i think cornfield is a nice aesthetic here we can see oh my apologies guys yeah, you guys won't. Uh, let's go ahead and hook you up to the temporary grid. So the reason why that was happening is that this side of town is supplied by this windmill only. Uh, and since we expanded the residential, these guys will need hooking up with power. Uh, back onto the main grid. Again, all these lines will be temporary uh, until we decide on something to do with them. Okay. I'm not sure why they're stopping right there. Oh, because I have made this roundabout the wrong road. <laughs> uh, so this needs to be one way. There we go. People should not be turning that way. 
I was wondering why they were like stopping. I was like, that shouldn't be happening. <laughs> uh, but that's why. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead now and kind of detail this land a little bit. I'm going to drop in uh, some of our standard trees for this area. And just kind of paint them along the highway. Uh, so they are separated away from it. And that's just going to allow this main road to stay kind of isolated away. See all our farm trucks coming out here. And they're taking all the different... Uh, necessary exits onto the highway. Now we do have a little bit of an issue here with people making this horrendous turn uh, which I'm not particularly happy about so we may have to do something about that. Uh, but what I did want to do was go ahead and kind of map out for next episode or uh, maybe in the coming episodes. It's not the road I want. Uh, I just want the regular highway road for long distance. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of get a big curve in here. So I definitely want to make a bit of a tourist area out of this lakefront. Um, you can maybe have some boats on here, um, a few bars and some nice hotels uh, around this part of town. But I definitely want something to kind of reside uh, around this waterfront here. And that'll look pretty cool. Obviously where I live in the Lake District we have a lot of hotels by the lake so uh, there's a lot of inspiration I can take for that. Let's have a look at this junction. It is getting... Um, seeing quite a lot of traffic we've got a lot of workers coming in here as well these guys are heading down I'm liking the way this is turning out though so far uh, so let's carry on with adding in some services so these guys have literally zero fire protection uh, let's go ahead and add in one right here uh, and then a small police station uh, where would be a good spot for this Probably, let's add it right on the high street corner here. So police have easy access to the highway should they need to get around. Uh, see how many people are using our ferry right now? 87 last week, so this thing is uh, getting a lot of use. Here we go. Uh, they are all full. Let's have a little look at the line details and see. So we have 101 people uh, at this stop right here, and our ferries can only carry... 50 people at a time, so to meet that demand, I'm going to increase this to four ferries on the line. And then from our ferry depot, here they come, two more ferries are going to join that line, and then that will meet the demand for it. So it's pretty simple maths, but it's good to see that people are actually using this ferry to get over to the island uh, rather than driving. So you could imagine if there was 100 extra cars on the road, uh, this place would be looking uh, pretty damn busy. But for right now, it is coping more than okay, uh, which I'm happy about. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually... Um, map out some more trees in this area just to kind of really separate just a few taps of the mouse make sure that this um, highway area is kind of fully isolated uh, in the woodland because I do want this to have quite a countryside feel over here okay so again, we do have major, major residential demand right now. So we do now have a little more demand for power. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in uh, one of the oil power plants, which is going to increase our electricity output. Um, however, remember, this area looks disgusting, but we will be moving it. So don't worry too much about how it looks right now. Uh, it will change eventually. And we've hit the next milestone, uh, which is great. We can do some stuff with this right now. Uh, so we have a lot level six unique buildings, trains which are really great, monorails which can be useful in the downtown areas, and cable cars which can look really cool as well. Uh, some new policies which we will cover when we come to make them, uh, and a bunch of new uh, roads that go with the public transport unlocks, uh, and then a bunch of new buildings uh, with those guys as well. So let's kind of plan out a train network. That might be quite fun. So it's always really useful to kind of map out trains before you build anywhere on the island because these things can be a nightmare uh, to reintegrate into your city once your city has already been built. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to have a train station in this part of town. No, we're not. But I think I do want one on the island. I'm not sure where we can actually get this in. 
There you go. This is a prime example of what I've just talked about. <laughs> I haven't left myself enough room for a train station. Uh, here might be a nice spot for one, actually. Yeah, I think I'll probably place the island train station here. Uh, and just take out these buildings. And then that will allow us to um, have train transport to and from the island. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Do you want a train station there? Uh, let me know if you do or not. So let's go ahead and actually begin to map out uh, a little bit of a new residential kind of village area. So I'm going to go ahead and grab our two-way highway again. Uh, and then this can split off here. There we go. So there's a little giveaway sign there. And then this place is going to give way into a nice kind of mountain foot village. Uh, more of a town really rather than the village. This place will be fairly substantial. So let's go ahead and change this into uh, a nice four lane road. And let's extend out a little bit more. And then we're going to make this some four lane decorative roads. We'll make a nice 20 by 20 box up here. There we go. And that's going to be a nice precursor into the new town. I want to go ahead and grab the grass roads and come to the halfway point. I want something to be the focal point as you enter this town. So let's see if we have any of the unique buildings that we've unlocked that might work here. Uh, we do have some nice plazas now. We've got a statue of shopping, stat plaza of the dead, uh, lazarette plaza, and statue of wealth. So these all produce noise pollution and entertainment value, which is going to help increase land value around your city. I'm not really feeling any of them right now. Uh, and the uh, city arch I want to save for the downtown area. We have a friendly neighbourhood park. And a fountain of life and death. A mall of moderation. Maybe would this work here? Or is this... Is this a little bit overkill for what I'm going for? I think it is. Uh, as is the transport tower. That's not really suitable for this area. Ah, now we do have the tax office. This would be uh, nice to put in. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so you come in and you get the tax office right here. So let's go ahead and decorate this town square. Um, one right here, if I can say it straight. Uh, and then we've left six there, so six there as well. So some nice parks, and then I'm going to go ahead and place in uh, one of our standard vanilla park assets. I can't get that one in anywhere, so we'll go with a couple of these. Let's have one on this corner. And then this corner. You can see now we have a pretty distinctive style here. So this vanilla asset is built using the dirt paths. So I'm going to go ahead and expand this. Uh, and kind of hook this up to various different places. So people can get around. We'll have one cutting through the back. Uh, we can have one cutting down here. And here as well. And then I just want this tax office to be surrounded by parkland. Uh, and then we'll build some nice commercial uh, in and around it. So there we go. It's not looking too bad right now. Uh, let's kind of map out some commercial streets from here. So we'll have this guy come out like that. Up to there and then again. And then we'll have one come up through the middle like that. So these are just going to be kind of little suburbs. Uh, that are just going to surround the town nicely. And again, I'm just sticking to the locked grid pattern. Uh, so we get as much zonable area as possible. Uh, and I think I actually do want something along here. So I'm going to extend that out by another 10 there. And then maybe we can get, I'm thinking here, uh, a public library. So this will be the first library of the city. It's going to cost us $400 a week to maintain, which at the moment we can more than afford. We're making 8500 and 22 grand, which we have 1.1 million right now, so no problem. Don't worry about the money as well. 
when we start building the downtown area in a couple of episodes time that will drain away very quickly so try and stockpile it as much money as you can for your downtown because they are very expensive to build uh, so the public library is a cultural institution which collects and stores books films newspapers documents and much more everything is now made accessible to all citizens around the city for borrowing library gives a small bonus to education within building radius so anyone that lives within this library is going to get a nice boost to education which is nice for everyone involved uh, let's go ahead and place that there yeah so right now you can see as we kind of formulate in this new town we have um a nice bit of kind of you know a bit of a a central focus for people to kind of communicate around so I'm going to go ahead now and go into our city park stuff. Now I haven't made this a city park because I just, honestly I don't want it to be a city park. However I am going to use it to uh, some of the props from this city park stuff I think. So let's go ahead and bring the brush size down to single. Now I think probably here. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to turn this into a time lapse because this is going to take me a little while to do. So uh, let's dive into a time lapse and build a nice looking park right in front of the library. So there we have a little bit of a way that you can use the city prop stuff to make your own little customised parks. Now again, no one will come and use this unfortunately. Maybe Paradox will add that in eventually. Where people can actually use uh, the city props. That'd be really nice. But if you compare it to those kind of empty grass squares right now, uh, it certainly adds a ton more personality uh, to your parkland. And just makes it look a lot more lived in. I suppose is the kind of uh, feel I'm going for right here uh, but yeah it's a nice little way you can utilize uh, your city props to kind of fill out those empty green spaces to make your city look a little bit nicer okay so now we have that in um, I'll probably do something else with these squares eventually but for right now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in with some trees and I'm pretty sure that these trees are these ones yes they are so let's go ahead and up our brush size not that much I'm just going to kind of fill in some of these green spaces around. There we go. So it looks as though the uh, vanilla park assets have actually just extended around and uh, become a nice little uh, kind of central town square uh, for our citizens to actually congregate in. I'm going to bring up some more residences around here as well. So right now, um, this town looks really out of place because it's very obvious where I've been drawing it out. It's very box-like. Uh, but we'll change that eventually by just drawing in some kind of um, little suburban roads and different little avenues that aren't as straight and as robotic uh, and fixed to the grid as they are right now. So that will change. Uh, don't worry, if you are following this guide along, we will... Uh, fix that eventually unless of course you like that kind of style then uh, feel free to go ahead and leave it like that anyway so let's have some residential along here along here as well and then right along here too okay and then I'm just going to continue this uh, forest that we've got going on uh, a little bit of a uh... so you know it does look as though let's kind of map it up here just a few little splashes just so it isolates this town a little bit more and then i'm going to go ahead and drop in uh, some residential now what i'm going to do here actually is i'm going to mix and match some zones so i'm going to pop in a little bit of uh, commercial uh, surrounded by residential up here I'm also going to drop in uh, some office zone along here now because we have a public library uh, and the tax office I think it makes sense to have 
uh, a little bit of office space around this square. So we're going to mix and match some of that in as well for the first time. Uh, let's drop in some big blocks of commercial here. There, uh, residential even. A little bit of commercial there as well. More residential here. And can we get a road coming behind this? No, we can't. But I can make a little bit of a, a feature out of it. So that was 560 long. There we go. Uh, and then we'll have some more residential along the back here, except for there. Um, and here as well. I think I want to drop in a little bit of a park area here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab one of the parks. A large playground won't fit just about. I think we'll go for uh, a small playground will fit. Uh, as well a dog park. Let's go for the dog park. Uh, and then I'm going to draw in uh, some paths around all this new zoning uh, just to allow people to move around that little bit easier. Again, you don't have to do this. It's just kind of uh, hammering home that point of uh, walkability. The easier it is for your citizens to get around, the less cars you're going to have on your road as well. And I think what I'm going to do is actually set up a cycle road infrastructure in here as well. Uh, so this road here, um, let's have this road here to be bicycle lanes. And then we'll carry on that cycle highway with a bicycle path. And then this road can be bicycles as well. And then it can cycle down here. So I'm not going to make every single one bicycle friendly. Uh, just the odd one. Up here as well. And then it can connect back to up there as well. So there's a little cycle route that allows people to uh, get around a little easier. Uh, and we'll have all this as well. So of course this place is going to need power now. Uh, before we can hit play and watch it grow. Which will be really exciting. Uh, where's the easiest place to hook this up from? I think I'm going to bring it in from over here. Actually, no. Um, no, because I don't I want to build the uh, university there. Uh, let's go ahead and hook this up around the back. There. So that's going to come in nicely. So there we have it guys, the beginnings of a brand new town within Bergusia. So if you're looking for kind of inspiration to go and build on another part of the map, uh, perhaps this can serve for that. But otherwise guys, that is going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. A like below is very much appreciated if you enjoyed the video. Equally as much if you hated the video, a dislike is also welcome as well. Uh, but thanks for watching, that is going to be it. And please enjoy watching the rest of this town grow. And I'll see you in the next episode.